Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. And if you're not already with the LFR family, I'm going to need for you to hit that subscribe button right there, Jack. Go on, hit that thing. All right, guys, we're about to check out some Patrice O'Neill, RIP to Patrice O'Neill. And the name of this joint is called Talks About Women. And this dude is hilarious, but he's a bit disrespectful. You know what? We're going to go ahead and jump in it, though. But first... We are back. We about to check this drain out, man. I'm cool in the night, man. It's my anniversary. I'm I'm feeling good. It's all love, you know what I mean. So I already know this is about to be awesome. So let's go ahead and listen to this, man. And y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let go. We don't want to hurt you. If you give a lie detector test to a man and a woman and ask them the same questions, man, we would pass them both up to a point where it's like, hey. Ask the woman, you love your man, you love your family, you love your home, you love what you built? Yep. All right. You see Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or whatever standing there, would you risk everything you built with your man just to sleep with him? And women, look, they go, nah, I wouldn't. And they still pass the test. They be like, eh, you know, I, I, they look good, but I wouldn't. Ask guys the same thing, you know, boom. Love your woman, the kids, the house. Yeah. All right, you... You see that girl passed out behind a dumpster? <laughs> Could you risk anything for a passed out woman behind a dumpster? <laughs> That's so true because then you have to think about it, man. Men are men are ridiculous. And until women realize that, there there won't be any happy relationships, man. Before you go into a relationship, women, understand that that man, he's 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 losing it. He's 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 out of his mind in some way, shape, or form. It's certain things that are missed with us men. It's certain things that we don't have. You know what I mean? We, it's crazy that we even gotta think about that. I don't want to, but look at her with garbage on. She looks so cute with garbage on. We're like the. I'm trying to like make it so women just like understand a little bit of like just sympathize. It's like we're we're like sport fishermen. That's what I'm saying. Men like to fish, and sport fishing is different from catching fish for food. You just get it. You get it. You catch it. And you, you know, you, you show your friends. Because <laughs> you want them to know that you, you catch fish. You take a couple of pictures so you can show people the fish that you have the ability to catch. And then you release it back into the water. Y'all y'all heard that saying before. Some people do things just to know it. Like, I just want to know if I still got it. Not realizing the ramifications of knowing that I still got it. That's just how silly men are, man. And then you release it back into the water. But a lot of women in here, you have boyfriends or husbands. You a fish that jump back on the boat. And just was like flapping, looking at me like... Hi, I was wondering if you're going to be fishing here again next week. Like... Yeah, for other fish. Get off my boat. Is that how you treat all the fish? You'd be like, oh, God damn. Nope, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're the last fish I ever wanted to be with. Now you're stuck. You're stuck with the last fish who was loving you and fighting hard to be on your boat. Then she got comfortable, and now she, instead of doing this, she's like, so we've been together for like a year now. Why do you still have a boat? You'd be like. <laughs> so what you trying to say? I can't catch fish no more? Why are you catching fish? And that's true, too. That That is true, too. Because the rules were not discussed in the beginning. Just certain things transpired. 
and assumptions were made and the leader of the relationship took over and said, um, well, since no, no decisions were made, this is what's going to happen. You're only going to be here with me now. That's it. That's it. And the man like, mm, okay. Because if I lose my ability to catch fish, then you're not going to find me sexy no more. So you got to smell fish on me so that you know I can catch fish so you can act right. <laughs> what's your name? Dave, what's your name? How are you? Hi, this is true. When you call Dave from another room, Dave, immediately, <laughs> he goes, oof. <laughs> what the, what does she want now? <laughs> Dave, you wanna hear what happened to me today? He's like, oh, oh. Us. That's not always true because when my wife called me, I, I think something's wrong and I'm, I'm jumping like, everything okay? That's just me. That's just me. I don't feel, you know what I mean, immediate, like, like what the hell she want type of situation. Nah, I don't feel that at all. So, I mean, but I understand what he's saying right here. Look, let's discuss harassment <laughs> for a second. Why can't I harass you? Sometimes, sometimes I can never harass you, never. And I'm not talking about like I'm talking just. Like, you look at how you looking, and I can't just a little something that has to do, like, you gotta be careful just to say, hey, you look beautiful today. That's how messed up the game is. I think you should be able to comment on any part of the body that you see. If you, I'm saying, what's your name? What's your name? Jeannie. Now, Jeannie, no disrespect, but if I work with you, I should be able to walk in and go, oh, Jeannie, beautiful uh, titty meat you have there. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was going to say nice hair, you know what I mean? Um, your, your cheeks look, you know, nice and rosy today. Or so I don't know. Your your shoulder pads look beautiful in that blouse. I, I don't know. I didn't know he was going to say something about her titty meat, man. I didn't know. Why would I think, like, why would anybody think that he's about to say something about her titty meat? Like, nice titty meat you got there. <laughs> uh, titty meat you have there. <laughs> and, because I see that, but... Whatever the scientific term is, I'm um, looking at Mr. A 4.9 grade point average. What's the, what's the science term for uh, the titty meat? What's the actual? And it's not the cleavage. I mean, the cleavage is the space in the middle. I'm talking about the meat, the, the meat, the titty part. And I'm not being foul, just, you know, whoa. of the day without pretending that I don't yeah. you know what so he won't go the rest of the day without you know pretending like he don't see your titty meat he's going to at least acknowledge it let you know oh that was nice did you know such and such you know he 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 said something about my titty meat today you know what I mean that might make the lady feel good you know depending on who the lady is that I don't see which which you understand what I'm saying I mean, let's work out a deal. Don't get me f fired. <laughs> Having women
women work with men, right? It's like having a grizzly bear work with salmon. <laughs> Dipped in honey, like so. Now you dip the salmon in the honey, right? Grizzly bears, and the salmon get to walk through comfortable with honey and fish and good morning, grizzly bears. And the grizzly bears is like, hey, you can't even, you can't even growl like, ah, what's up, fish? Oh my God, human resources. The grizzly bears just did grizzly bears. So. <laughs> you know, so, so, the grizzly bear just now did grizzly bear stuff. I like that. I like that. I like that. That makes so much sense. Like I can't even go. Hey, good morning. Good morning, fish. Good morning. Oh, I can't touch it. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, let me just get a little bit of that fish. A little bit. Get that honey. Oh my god. Mm. Fish and honey, man, that's my favorite. Usually I kill fish and eat them and stuff, but I just wanted to just rub that, rub a little bit of that. God damn. That's oppressive. Like you, you know, my wife think I make the best salmon in the world because I glaze that some bitch with some honey and then I season it real good just so the seasoning can stick on the salmon. And then I put it in that dag on um, canola oil. Mm. On the side where the honey and the seasoning is. Uh, get it nice and seared. Turn it over just a little bit. Just for a little bit. Oh, perfect. Mwah. Oh, salmon and honey. Oh. Whew. Shouldn't even. <laughs> And there's cameras everywhere. You can't do like weird stuff behind a back. Like, why would it be disrespectful? I said, what's your name? Terrell. If I go, tell you, Terrell, we work together. And I go, Terrell, hey, do me a favor. Let me know when you're getting up to go to the bathroom so I can sniff your chair. <laughs> oh, that's a creep right there. That's a creep. You're a creep. That's a creep. That's disrespectful because it's sexual, but that keeps me from being... Nah, that's a straight up and down creep move. I ain't no other way to explain that one. That's a straight up and down creep move, boy. Like, I think, look, I think there should be a holiday, uh, for lack of a better word, harassment day, but not... That sounds whatever, but I mean a day where I get to find out like because and this is why it should be harassment day because women get to be inappropriate sexually all the time you get to be inappropriate and when i say inappropriate i mean say hello to me too close hi <laughs> or some weird massage because you think we're friends and you good morning little kiss and he's just like oh oh boy oh boy 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 and you think in your head man i wonder if i could i wonder if i don't you know but harassment day allows you to be able to ask all oh, year i say the tuesday before thanksgiving <laughs> And it's, and it's a beautiful day, flowers and everything. You buy flowers, you just real cool, you walk up, you're respectful, you say, hey, how are you? You know, good afternoon, Terrell, happy harassment day. <laughs> and you just like say, listen, I was wondering all year if you would suck my <laughs> in the boom closet. Bruh, this dude is wild, man. I P to Patrice O'Neill, but that's wow. SMD in the broom closet. SMD in the broom closet. And you just be like, no, thank you. I'm not. And you be like, I'm. Thank you. Keep the flowers. I just thought. <laughs> 
I made a mistake. I thought you was a hoe all year. I was confused. I thought you was a hoe, but you're not. Let me say this, man. I, I'm a, what they, I don't know what the term is for uh, extreme animal lover. Like, I, I get sick when I see animals suffering. And I know that's contrary to popular belief somehow. Somehow it spread out that uh, black people, we, like, we hate animals. Like, we can't stand dogs and cats, and I, I don't get it. That's the news doing that. Because they only show dudes that hate dogs. Like, when the Vic stuff was happening, what do you think of Michael Vick and the dog? They just show every dude they show, like, man, dogs, man, dogs. I'll, I'll drown a dog in a bucket right now. We give me a dog. Where's a, where's a dog at? I'll kill him. I hate dogs. I hate dogs. And then they'll show a white woman, like, tongue kissing a dog in the mouth just to prove white people love dogs and then they go back to him and he's mad like look at this dirty white bitch tongue kissing <laughs> devil devil bitch tongue kissing a, a jackal in the mouth <laughs> devil licking jackals and this is like sad it's like it's some weird war they always want black people and white people to be at war man for some reason how can you hate it? I don't. People who hate animals, like I, I don't. I'm not gonna go. I hate you, but it's, it'll be hard. It takes away a piece of how close we might. If you go, I hate animals. Like somebody look at a baby seal and go, Oh, I can't wait to hit this m in the face. <laughs> I hate baby seals. All oh, cute. Oh, you looking at baby seal? Like. You ever see them sad animal commercials that come on like during like four in the morning during Three's Company reruns? <laughs> and they catch you out of nowhere. You be watching Three's Company and then ooh, like, and that's like it'll be a kitten and they slow motion the kitten up and the kitten ooh, ooh, and it's a <laughs> kitten got a pencil in his hand. Like somebody stuck a <laughs> pencil in his face. There's a pistol sticking out of his face. Then they put fun facts. 15,000 kittens are stabbed in the head <laughs> with pencils each year. You'd be like, who is stabbing kittens in the face with pencils? Why? It's a pistol. And they'll show a bunch of puppies shoved in a, a container or a cup. Puppies in a cup. <laughs> missing their feet. It's wrong. Hi. I'm a white lady. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to say probably did it. Alright, that was hilarious, man. Um, yeah, that was funny. Um, per usual, though, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And if you have yet to subscribe, make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van. We are all the LFR family. I look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Peace out.